Whale songs have patterns similar to human language. A group of scientists analyzed eight years of song recordings humpback whales and discovered that these songs have statistical patterns in their structure, which are surprisingly similar to those found in human language. Language has long been considered a characteristic feature only for man, with features that distinguish him from the means of communication of all the other species. However, in the research that appeared in the pages science scientists discovered in the singing of humpback, Megaptera novian glai, the statistical rule itself, which is a characteristic of human language. Some animals give up their vocals instinctively dogs don't have to learn to bark. But as well as human language, the singing of humpbacks is transmitted culturally. For example, Male humpbacks learn from other male songs that researchers believe are used to attract the partner. Like the language, the songs of humpback whales have patterns and structure. Those individual elements, such as single grunting or sounds similar to clicking, they combine to form phrases, combined into even larger structures that they form a song, and these can last for 30 minutes. Songs are constantly evolving and new elements appear and spread in the population until the old song is left completely replaced with a new one. The song of humpback is an example of a complex, transmitted cultural behavior, but until now there was little evidence that he has structure similar to language. Human language, which is also transmitted culturally, it has recurring parts whose frequency of use follows a specific pattern. All known human languages exhibit the same pattern, the most commonly used word in language is twice as common as the second A word like that, three times more than a third and so on. It is known as the law of zip. For example, the most common word in English, the, it appears twice as often as the second most common word of, and so on. It is believed that this statistical formula facilitates language learning and may result from this, we pass the language from generation to generation. In a recent study group researchers from Hebrew University, St. Andrews University and University in collaboration with researchers from other institutions, she used Edinburgh methods usually used to study infants to analyze whale songs. Scholars found in them the same statistical structures that exist in them all the human languages. Infants, while learning the language, must first determine, where are the boundaries of words. They learn to distinguish individual words by detecting statistical patterns. Speech is continuous and there are no gaps between words, so babies need to discover the boundaries of words. To do this, they use information low-level statistical sounds are more likely to go together if they're part of the same word. The babies are using these decreases in probability that one sound follows the second to discover the limits of the words, admitted in Bal Arnon of the Hebrew University. In Jerusalem, scientists have used insights into how infants discover words and speech and used them to analyze songs whales. In total, they examined eight years of recordings of whale songs from the surrounding area New Caledonia. It turned out that both human language and whale songs they have statistically consistent parts. Using methods and insights regarding how infants learn language, allowed us to discover previously undetected structure in the whale singing. This work shows how learning and cultural transmission they can shape the structure of communication systems. We can find a similar statistical structure wherever complex sequential behavior is culturally transferred, Arnon said. Scientists have discovered that whale singing exhibited the same key statistical properties that occur in all known the human languages. Researchers have detected repetitive parts of which the frequency corresponded strictly to a specific distribution that had not previously been it was seen in any species other than humans. 
However, the researchers point out that this statistical pattern is not leads to the conclusion that whale singing is the language it conveys meaning. Disclosure of these structures in whale singing was unexpected and suggests that this cultural behavior contains a key insight into complex evolution communication in the animal kingdom. Whale singing is not a language, there is no the semantic meaning. It may be more like human music that too has these statistical structures, but it has no expressive meaning in the language. Do the units detected by us using the inspired method research on infants is important for the whales themselves, remains open a question, said Ellen Garland of the University of St. Andrews. Looking beyond the way the language is used expressing the meaning, we should consider how language is assimilated and transmitted culturally for many generations. These findings undermine long mainly held assumptions about the uniqueness of human language, discovering deep similarities between evolutionarily distant species, Simon said Kirby of the University of Edinburgh.